So the last song on Lightwork is called Children of God. Originally, Children of God was um, structurally and structurally at least uh, very different. And you can hear the original arrangement on uh, Nightwork, and it's called Children of Dog on that album. I had made a decision early on in the Lightwork process to make much more simple songs this time around after Puzzle and, and Empath. So I was okay with modifying the original sort of abstract arrangement to something more, more linear for Children of God. The problem that I have with Children of God is the word God, of course, and I know there's other people that have um, a problem with that as well, but I wish there was a better word. What I mean is that, you know? The infinite, creative source, mathematics, love, whatever. I don't have any words for it. Religion has just done such a great job in turning all these kind of concepts into, um, you know, like curse words in a weird way. Where you can't say it without being viewed as being, you know, deluded or something. What I think is more indicative of delusion is thinking that you've got it all sorted out, whether or not you're religious or atheist or, or whatever. It's like, <laughs> we're humans, man. We, we don't know. It's my opinion, at least. I've never met anybody that I feel like, oh, this person knows. I think people pretend to know because there's money in it. But, And I guess Children of God, as a song, it's about, you know, like Lord of the Flies when you... If you've ever read that book, it's, you know, the, the children end up taking over this island and creating all these hierarchies and, and, and um, factions within there. But then when the parents or when the adults showed up again, all of that just goes out the window and they're like, all right, we're kids. And I think over the course of the past couple of years, you see like the social unrest and the political bullshit and the wars and the pandemic and the climate and, and all these things that are going on and... and all the divisive uh, and incredibly nuanced aspects of all these things. And and it seems to be that as a society, maybe the past couple of years have made overall society so feel so powerless that we're looking for absolutes. You know, we're looking for black and white. We're looking for, you know, proof that there's something beyond this, you know, whether or not it's aliens or conspiracies or religion or, or any number of things, right? Like, and I don't know, but in my estimation over the past couple of years, it's really seemed like a bunch of kids in the face of the infinite, in the face of the eternal awesomeness of the universe. It's like so absurd. And so Children of God is, is essentially that, you know, we're just we're just kids in front of this shit. Trying to figure out ways, trying to get power and you know, sex and, and all these things that that we can kind of as a species equate to a a, a, a sense of unity with something other than just our isolated selves, right? And at the end, um, the song that goes into the lighthouse sound is essentially, you know, just please be kind, you know, and then free your mind. That's the whole idea. Not free your mind, man, but let go of the bias and the preconception and the need to be right in a lot of ways. I don't know. If I knew, I'd, <laughs> I'd know, but I don't, so I don't. And at the end of the song, the lighthouse comes back because to me, the whole process of making light work was providing myself a tether to something that was beyond me. And what that is, is the creative impulse. That's the thing that artists and creative people in general, we're all privy to that. So it's not a unique thing. It's not like a 
specific to me thing. It's just the creative catalyst that brings forth music was a lighthouse for me that allowed me to remain focused during a period of extraordinary uh, upset. And so the lighthouse at the end is just got to watch out for the pitfalls. And at the end, you'll hear in the reverb way off in the background, uh, a girl's voice singing, we won three times. We won, we won, we won. And I remember at the very end of the record when it was in mastering, it had already been done and I had a dream about that line. And I woke up and sang it in my phone and I called up the mastering engineer and my friend who, whose daughter Echo Picon had sang on this. And uh, I said, could you just do this? Can we just put this in? I think it's an important way to finish this record off. So yeah, that's light work, guys. I'm very proud of it. And I think it's a really healthy statement. I think it may arguably have not come around at the most um, opportune time. I don't know if it's necessarily what people wanted to hear right now. I get the impression that much of society just wants to hear anger. And I, you know, I understand that, but that's not where I was at. So I did what I felt was right for me to do. And uh, I back it. Thanks, guys. It's Devin Townsend. See you.